Clarendon Learning explores Simple Machines for Kids. Hey kids, in the beginning, everything had a beginning. Think about it. Huge, bustling cities started out as little towns with little buildings. We wouldn't have supercars if Carl Benz hadn't built his first motor wagon. And we never would have gone to the moon if someone hadn't invented the wheel. The wheel and axle is an example of a simple machine. And this is what we're going to explore today. Simple machines. Let me introduce you to some important helpers of mine. We call them simple machines. The inclined plane. The lever. The wedge. The screw. The wheel and axle. And the pulley. These tools have made the work I do so much easier. I'd like to show them to you. And I'd like you to use your imagination. Are you ready to learn about simple machines? Awesome! Let's go! Keep in mind that a simple machine has few moving parts and should enable you to do more work with less effort and energy. Look at this person hoist a sail with a simple machine. She's doing more work with less effort. She's crossing the ocean with a simple machine. This is the inclined plane or ramp. It can be used to lift heavy objects from a lower level to a higher level. How much do you think this dump truck weighs? It weighs around 628 tons. That's 1,256,000 pounds. Whoa! And this inclined plane is helping this machine get from a lower level to a higher level with the greatest of ease. Using a gradual ramp enables you to travel up and down much easier. And using a ramp is the way that a person in a wheelchair can get up over a curb or into many buildings with multi-levels. Maybe the ancient pyramids of Giza were built using the inclined plane. I wonder what other simple machine might make good use of the inclined plane. Hey, how about the wheel and axle? Yeah, moving equipment up and down a ramp using wheels is easy. The wheel and axle are used all over the world for all sorts of things. Here's an example of my friend, Mr. Pottery Man. I wonder what he's making. I bet it's a cereal bowl to hold a lot of cereal. And what's he using to make that cereal bowl? You're right, a wheel and axle. Good job. The wheel is probably the greatest simple machine of all time. Think of everything the wheel can do and what we use it for. Just about everything in the world moves because of the wheel. Planes, trains, automobiles, bicycles, unicycles, wagons, horse carts, pickup trucks, hand trucks, wheelbarrows, skates and scooters. Wait, whoa, back up. Is that a six wheel truck? Whoa! The wheel and axle have made the work we do easier and recreation more fun. I mean, how fun would a bike be with square wheels? Next, if you give me a fulcrum or a pivot and a plane, I'll give you a lever. Actually, three types of levers, depending where you put the pivot. Some examples of the lever as a simple machine are scissors, pliers, a baseball bat. Your arm and elbow is a good example of the lever. The lever gives us leverage to move things. A teeter-totter is a super fun, simple machine. Just ask Lily and Max. Hi. Hello, friends. The shovel is a combination of two simple machines, the lever and the wedge. Yes, the wedge is a simple machine and very powerful. With the wedge, I can split wood. With a knife as a wedge, I can cut through steaks and chicken and vegetables with ease. I like the wedge. I can use it as a doorstop and keep my door open. A nail is another example of the wedge, a very small but important simple machine. Look at the screw, a simple machine all by itself. With the screw, I can attach things to a wall. I can drill a hole. I can seal a bottle with a screw on cap. And the spiral staircase? Yep, a screw. What about curly fries? I don't think they're a simple machine, but these sure do look yummy and I'm getting hungry. But the screw is a very cool simple machine. 
Which brings us to the final simple machine. Last of all, but not the least of all, the pulley. The pulley is like a wheel but with a groove. With a couple of pulleys and a rope, you can exhibit superhuman strength. Look at this example of Mr. Kitty getting pulled up by a pulley. Look how huge that crane is. A lot of huge buildings all over the world are built by cranes. A simple machine. The elevator uses the simple machine technology of the pulley. And who loves elevator rides? I do. We just learned about the six simple machines. Do you remember what they are? The inclined plane, the wheel and axle, the lever, the screw, the wedge, and the pulley. Great job! These are the simple machines. They're around us every day. And when you assemble several simple machines together, you get cool things like cars, airplanes, and roller coasters. The bicycle uses many simple machines. Can you figure out what they are? Can you see the wheel, the lever, and the pulley? Good job! Today's assignment is to look around and identify the simple machines in the world around you. And while you're at it, check out the Clarendon Learning Activity pages made for your grade level. Thanks for following Clarendon Learning. Be sure to subscribe. If you're looking for more teaching resources, check us out at clarendonlearning.org.